Not only are we talking about explosive material that can be detonated, but we're also talking about narcotics activity. Uh, there is some remnants of what we believe was some manufacturing of narcotics. Methodically going through a house full of explosives. San Jose police say it could take as long as three days to make that house safe. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Dan Ashley. And I'm Karina Nova. Tonight, the man who lived in that home with his wife and two children is under arrest. Police say there is so much explosive material in that house that they have to bring in federal resources to help. ABC 7 News reporter Zach Fuentes has been at the house and at the scene all day and joins us live with the very latest. Zach? Yeah, the most important thing right now is that police are saying that there is no public safety threat at this time. Now, they did evacuate some of the homes closest to that home they're investigating. And mind you, they first got to this home more than 24 hours ago. And as you see behind me, there is still a very big, very active scene. All of this part of an investigation that police say has multiple layers to it. Police, fire trucks, FBI, vehicles and equipment no one in this South San Jose neighborhood expected to see. I've lived in this neighborhood 45 years and we've never had anything like kind of this bad go on. Police say 35 year old Peter Karasev is in custody for possession of explosive materials. They say that man lived in the home with his wife and two children. Not only is there explosive material here, there's chemicals used to manufacture narcotics deadly, deadly combination in a residential neighborhood with children in the home. Our camera was one of the first on the scene when the huge law enforcement response descended on the home late Wednesday afternoon. More than 24 hours later, the scene was still extremely active. There's so much material in there that we've had to call in some federal resources to assist us with uh, the proper handling and, and rendering safe of uh, this evidence that's here. The neighborhood is just across the street from Gunderson High School. Nearly two days after this massive response formed, the scene around this home on Potomac Court in San Jose is still active. Both federal and local agencies continuing to comb through the home San Jose police say had explosive material. We're expecting to be out at the scene for a few more days, possibly up to another five days total. San Jose police say this is the man who had that explosive material in that home. 36 year old Peter Karasev. Police revealed Friday that the investigation into him started with two separate incidents in December and January, both involved involving explosive devices. On January 5th, police say officers were called to a block on Snell Avenue in San Jose for reports of a damaged transformer. During the course of that January investigation, a connection was made to a similar incident that happened December 8th on Thornwood Drive near Oak Ridge Mall. Both explosions leaving thousands without power. Detectives then responded to that scene as well, contacted employees and spoke with another pg and &E employee who provided a similar statement, collected more forensic evidence, proving that in fact there had been a similar explosion at that time. Now, during the course of the investigation, the suspect was identified. Investigators say surveillance video and cell phone pings led them to Peter Karasev, who was arrested on Wednesday. Police also say he had a meth lab in his home and admitted to using methamphetamine as a replacement for Adderall during the Adderall shortage. Investigators also say he told them he'd been having a difficult time due to the war between Russia and Ukraine since he has family in both countries. He made his first court appearance Friday, where he was denied bail. Related to the transformer bombings, he's charged with two counts of exploding a destructive device, as well as two counts of destroying an electrical line, as well as an arson charge. Related to the items found in his home, he is charged with possessing materials with the intent to create a destructive device. Cameras were not allowed in court, but we were there as the public defender's office revealed details of Karasev's life in an attempt to get him out on supervised release. Karasev, they say, is a software engineer at a company called Zoox that develops self-driving cars and is a married father of children ages one, three, and five. Right now, the investigation at his home is still active. As more comes out from that investigation, the DA says Karasev could face more charges. He's expected back in court April 26. In San Jose, Zach Fuentes, ABC 7 News.